This video will discuss the variational principle for computing approximate ground state wave functions. So we'll start off by defining the term psi naught. This will be our exact ground state wave function for a quantum mechanical model system. We have E naught, which is going to be the exact ground state energy of that system. So what we're trying to solve for our Schrodinger equation of this model system is the Hamiltonian operator acting on psi naught gives E naught times psi naught. So it's the standard eigenvalue equation. Our Schrodinger equation is just specified by the kinetic energy and potential energy operators of all the particles in our system. So we can't always solve this, and in fact we can only solve the Hamiltonian, or we can only solve the Schrodinger equation analytically, or exactly, for a few simple model cases. In fact, we've looked at most of those cases in this course already. Particle in a box, harmonic oscillator, rigid rotor, and hydrogen atom being the, the main four. So we can look at solving approximate wave functions for every other possible Hamiltonian that comes up. So we'll define phi. Phi is our approximate ground state wave function. So E naught is going to be equal to the expectation value for our energy. So we have the integral over all space, d tau. This would be dx in one dimension, dx dy dz in three dimensions, etc. Integrating from minus infinity to infinity in every dimension. Of psi naught star, complex conjugate of the exact wave function. Hamiltonian acting on psi naught divided by the integral of psi naught star times psi naught, so the normalization integral. If your wave function is already normalized, then this denominator is going to be 1, and you don't need to compute it. But just in case, we don't have to use normalized wave functions if we compute this formula here with this normalization denominator. So in Dirac notation, that would fall to this shorthand of the of the expectation value integral psi naught h psi naught divided by the overlap integral psi naught psi naught. So for the energy of our approximate wave function, we'll do the same thing. We'll take some approximate wave function and we'll do the integral over all space of phi star h phi divided by the integral over all space of phi star times phi. Now here's where the variational principle comes in. The variational principle says that the energy of any approximate ground state wave function is greater than or equal to the exact energy of the ground state wave function for all, uh, for all trial wave functions. So no matter what you do, no matter which wave function you choose, for this Hamiltonian operator you can never get a lower energy than the exact ground state wave function. So we're not going to prove that. You can actually prove it without too many lines of proof, but I'm just going to move on from here. So the next part is what we do with this in order to make our variational method. So we can take our wave function, E phi, our approximate or trial wave function, and we can make it depend on some parameter, which I've just labeled lambda for some general parameter. So the variational principle says that no matter what value of lambda you have, you're always greater than or equal to E naught, the exact ground state energy. So our wave function is a function of this parameter. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose different values of this parameter, and we're going to find the value of lambda, the parameter, such that we get the minimum energy of our wave function as a function of this parameter. So we know that that minimum energy is going to be bigger or higher than the true ground state energy, but there is some value of this parameter such that we get the minimum approximate energy, E phi. So that's going to be the case when the first derivative of the approximate energy with respect to the parameter is equal to zero. So we have uh, dE d phi is zero at the minimum of this curve here. So what we'll be searching for is lambda min, the value where this is true, and for the value of lambda min, that is the best approximate wave function we can get given the functional form of our wave function with this parameter, and E of lambda min is the lowest energy and thus the best approximation to the true energy we can get whenever we have a wave function which depends on this parameter.